For over 30 years, artist, author and lecturer Benjamin Crow has been preparing the way for the biggest event in history, the emergence of Maitreya the World Teacher and his group, the Masters of Wisdom. Millions of people have heard his information and wait expectantly for this momentous event. On the 12th of December 2008, Share International Foundation distributed a news release announcing that in the very near future, a large bright star would appear in the sky, visible throughout the planet night and day, a sign of Maitreya's imminent open emergence. The star, the herald of Maitreya, seen throughout the world, has done its work. At his latest public lecture at Friends House, Houston Road, London, on the 14th of January 2010, Benjamin Krem made the following announcement. Maitreya recently gave his first interview in America, the first of many such interviews. He followed in Japan and Europe and so on. The master of all the masters, for the first time in human history, himself physically came on a well-known television program in a major um, network in the United States. exceeded even my expectations thanks to a small religious group called Share International who believe in Maitreya as the second coming of Buddha. Not to be confused with the large religious group Share International who believe in Share as the second coming of, well, Share. For more than 30 years, Share International has been awaiting the arrival of Maitreya predicted by its leader, Benjamin Cream the most delicious sounding religious leader since Pope Nugent V. Oh, infallibly delicious. And though Cream has been predicting Maitreya's return since 1972, he has never revealed Maitreya's exact identity. He offered only tantalizing clues. Maitreya is dark skinned. Born in 1972, traveled from India to London in 1977, and sometimes speaks with a stutter. I know what you're thinking, but Porky Pig was born in America. Now recently, internet gossip speculated that Maitreya might be author Raj Patel, a dark-skinned man born in 1972 who traveled to London in 1977, but no one was sure until Benjamin Cream got the sign he was looking for. Maitreya. Recently, gave his first interview to the market. The master of all the masters came on a well-known television program. Hmm. I wonder what well-known television program 
Raj Patel was on recently. Yes, according to the New York Times, when Patel appeared on the Colbert Report and tripped over a few words, it was seen by Cream's followers as the final sign. Yes, the final sign that the New York Times will report anything. Jim, Jim, we are prepared. Show us the holy tongue fumble. Well, the, the way that we've set up our economy is that, that we impose these free markets. I'm not just a kingmaker, I'm a godmaker. I'm at least the John the Baptist of Share International. And I have to say, I do look great with my head on a platter. Now, it's a good look, isn't it? Only slightly disturbing. Now, for those skeptics who are not convinced that the Messiah is Raj Patel, join me now, the Messiah, Raj Patel. Raj, are you with us? Yes, I am, Stephen. Hello. Raj, please. Raj, we are all moved to hear your voice in the air around us. Well, I'm on the telephone, Steve. Yes, I understand. Now, Raj, let's get to the question that's on everyone's mind. Are you, in fact, the long-awaited Messiah? Um, no, I mean, I... I, 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 I. Are you not aware that Benjamin Cream also prophesied that the true Messiah would deny his Messiahhood? So would you I... like to answer that again? Are you the Messiah? Well, well no, I mean, I'm not... Hey, the Messiah! prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ravening wolves <laughs>